So if things aren't going your way and you feel like, oh, God doesn't love me because all this bad stuff's happening. No, this is exactly what you signed up for. Like, God did not say, oh, when you become a Christian, all of a sudden all of your dreams will come true and your wishes granted and you'll have all the women and all the fame and all the money. No, he said, you'll face all of these terrible things, but fear not. Hey, it's Rachel. Today on Crack Your Bible, I wanted to talk to you about Christian persecution, specifically because of the shooting that happened yesterday in Texas, where 26 or 27 people were murdered in their church, ranging in ages from 18 months to 77 years. Now, before we do that, please make sure that you are subscribed. Google does not want you to know the gospel. Satan doesn't want you to know the gospel, so they want you to jump through 10,000 hoops for you to get notified that there is a new Crack Your Bible video up. They don't want you to be armed with the gospel. They want to keep you down. So make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell, and then little parentheses will show up. You'll have to click that as well. Put on the full armor of God. Let's get you geared up so that you can withstand the schemes of the devil. Make sure you are subscribed. Now, I was going to talk to you guys about Genesis 11, but of course, things don't always go to plan. And we live in a fallen world, so we need to deal with the craziness that is going on. Now, a lot of people erroneously believe that once you become a Christian, things are supposed to fall into place. You won't have all of these struggles. You won't have to deal with sin anymore. Or maybe God's going to make you rich and happy and everything's going to be great for you. And it's like, nope. Like, did you read the Bible? Because that is not part of the uh, like benefits when you join Christianity. So let's just talk about this because the shooter was supposedly a former Bible teacher, a former Christian who became an atheist at one point. And I, I have heard this a zillion times. Somebody becomes a Christian and then things don't go the way that they think that they're supposed to happen. So they decide that they're, they're done with God. They've had enough. Oh, all of this is stupid. This is crazy talk. And it's, it's so trite. It's so tired because Jesus never promised us rainbows and unicorns. Now he promised us persecution, hardship, death, mockery, all sorts of terrible things on account of our witness. We know that these things will happen to us and we can kind of gauge how we're doing by, <laughs> are we getting a bunch of flack from the world? Do people dislike us specifically because of our witness, not because of like some weird personality trait or that you're a jerk or something, but is it because of your witness? And if they don't like you because you're a Christian and you'll know because they'll mention your Christianity whenever they're bad mouthing you, if that's happening, this is, this is what Jesus promised you. So this is par for the course. And I think it's very important for Christians to realize that Jesus told us that these things would happen to us. And that is why we have to put on the full armor of God every day. We have to make sure that we are not allowing demonic strongholds to take root in our lives, whether it's through sexual deviancy or playing with the occult, or even celebrating certain holidays. These things give demons a legal right into your life. And once you allow them to have a foothold in your life, you are going to have problems. Now, a lot of people think that becoming a Christian is all about God becoming your personal genie. Oh, if I do this, or if I ask for this, then God has to do this for me. God does not work on your time. God does not work within your parameters. We are on his time. He does things his way. And it's important for Christians to recognize this. God is not your financial genie where, oh, if I donate $1 to the church, he's going to give me a sevenfold or 100 fold return. Like he's some magical ATM or, oh, if God cared about me, bad things wouldn't happen to me. God cares about you, which is why he gave you a way out of this world. That's why we have Jesus. So that even though we live in a fallen world, we can be protected from the schemes of the devil. But 
we do know that these things will happen to us. So we have to prepare. You have to be strong in the word. And what else do you need to do? You need to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. We see this in Matthew 10. Jesus says that he's sending us out amongst wolves. People are going to flog us, murder us, hand us over to the officials. So if you think that God just doesn't love me or God must not exist because I'm experiencing these bad things. No, this is exactly what Jesus told you would happen. And when you're dealing with some of these very angry, bitter people, you need to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. How many of you know like that one weirdo out there that is all too happy to argue about religion with you? It's not just like, oh, I want to know what you believe, or maybe I have a difference of an opinion. No, these people are, they're out looking for you. Like, everybody knows that one freak show or more, depending on where you live, where these people, they, they hate Christianity. They hate God. And this is what it sounds like this guy was like. I mean, he was a real, real weirdo. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. There is a spirit behind all of these people. It's not just this person in their own free will doing these things. They have a spirit of antichrist on them. They have a spirit of murder on them. They have a spirit of hatred on them. So Christians need to protect themselves because you're not safe. Like you don't go out there looking for a fight. That is one of the things that Christians need to remember, whether it's online or in real life. Don't engage with these people. You you can tell the weird ones. God has given you that gift where you can see who is the freak show out in your community. If you see people who are bitter and angry and they're looking for a fight, don't engage with them. I know you might like to engage with them online, but the safest thing to do is don't. If somebody is insincere and in asking you questions or they're looking for a fight, don't. You need to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. We know that whenever we're going to go before the judges and the magistrates and all this other stuff on account of our witness, God is with us and he'll give us the things that we need to say. God will protect us. God will give us an out if we put on the full armor of God. That's why we have to pray always in the spirit. That means that we have to take a stand against Satan. We can't engage in the things that the world does because we are in a spiritual battle with Satan. And we, we don't want any chinks in our armor. We don't want any openings where he can get in and kill us. So God's given us the tools. He's given us the gospel. He's given us a way out of this crazy mess through Jesus. So yeah, we might die in in this life because of our testimony, but that's par for the course. But if we'd like to minimize those things, we need to put on the full armor of God and do not engage with the weirdos that you see are looking for a fight. So part of putting on the full armor of God is understanding the gospel. And if you haven't watched my videos already, check out either this playlist or this playlist or any of my other playlists that you can find on my site that go through the Bible. We are on Genesis 11 right now, and you can see all of the overviews and all of the in-depth videos and even the vlog videos like this one on my channel. Make sure you go check those out here and here, and I will talk to you later. Bye.